Uh, Sam may not join because he has his So, my friends, my friends, five weeks, five sheets. Sixth week, you are there. Where? Where you want to be. So, when I say five weeks, that today we will pick up one sheet and then you start living in that knowledge and you will see a tremendous change you know we also use a phrase see change s e We never realize that room, home, workplace is all space in reality. The name simply indicates the location and the utility. First thing to understand, it is what we can say delusion. It is all space. Nothing else. Now see that you don't, uh, you don't appreciate this space, which never changes. So the first delusion that creates the false I, my home, your home. Now see another delusion. Your home is bigger and beautiful than mine. Then mine becomes crazy. Then jealousy starts. Then we start running and become fully busy. Those who are fully busy, they have left our session. Better. Yeah. At the same time, we need home. What should we do? Do everything except identification. Did you understand? Yes, I understand. I understand partially and then I move my mind moves there and I become fully busy it will not work I have to live with the knowledge the second thing to understand that that real self is within five sheets that is what we see uh, if you see the symbolic we will talk of the model of knowledge I think on Saturdays I just uh, don't want to go into detail. So is real self within five sheets or five sheets appears on the real self? Like one paper over the other, second paper, third paper. But if there is no real self, these five sheets are also not there. Briefly to understand that the re, uh, the, these five sheets are within the real self. Now, normally, symbolically, we say that, you know, my real self is within the body, physical body, within the subtle body, and within the causal body. No. No. Apply the same logic here. Space. Is space inside your room or... The opposite or the room, the workplace, your restroom, your bedroom is in the space. You see, it all demands an understanding. It all demands a knowledge. Until Buddha was ready to understand this knowledge, it took him six years. I'm just betting five weeks. Five sheets. And one thing I should tell you openly. That if you do not understand these simple knowledge principles, you spend 50 years doing meditation, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. You will go back to the same stuff. 
same angle, same anxiety, same reaction. That is why we are studying this five sheet. So are you clear? Yes, I'm clear. So the five sheets, I'm none of them and I'm using them like I am the body. So let us understand a couple of the operating principles to know we are not these five sheets. You should be ready to ask any question if you have a doubt. First thing, the real self is unchanging. Five sheets are changing. What is changing, I cannot be. How do you say that? That I, did that I change when you were born until now? I was few pounds, then increased in size. I am still there. Body changed. I did not. No, no, I am now often upset. It is because of the mental sheet. I am wiser. It is because of the intellectual sheet. No, I have less energy. I have gray beard. Oh, it is because of the second sheet. It has nothing to do with I am. Nothing to do with I am. You can experience. You can know it. So five sheets are objects of experience and the real self can never become the object of experience. Uh, I, I'll just uh, deal in detail. It is a subject. Sub the final ultimate reality cannot become the object of the mind. Real self is conscious. All the five sheets are matter. Sun is here and you put a yellow sheet. You cannot say that yellow sheet gives the light. Only the sun. Real self. Conscious. So first operating principle that instantly you remember. And I will go in detail also with your permission. Not detail in a sense that very ruthless way. There is one uh, master who was a king first, and then he became a monk. He went to the Himalayas, practiced, and then he uh, became one of the great masters. Now, I will invoke only one or two verses from there. So first operating principle that I am unchanging. Five sheets are changing. <clears throat> Second operating principle Five sheets are object of experience, but I am a knower of objects. Did I understand? Yes, yes, I understand. We understand everything and still we live the same life. If anything is an object, cannot become me. What is this mouse? I know the mouse. I do not, I am not the mouse. Now apply the same logic to anyone. Here is Brandy. I know Brandy, but I am not Brandy. I know donkey. Here is a donkey, but I am not. <laughs> but then why you say I am stressed? Why do you say I am stressed? Well, stress makes experience, belongs to the mind, not to me. So those people who are having a lot of depression, I tell them that if you have more pain, have a bigger smile. Less pain, less smile. Uh, so second operating, third operating principle, five sheets are product of karma. I existed before, during the presence of the five sheet and after. Space. Same example. Build the house, demolish the house. 
space is as it is. Same way the real self is it is. I am conscious. Five sheets are unconscious matter. Five sheets are parts, products, and properties of a matter. But I am one pure consciousness. I told you, Buddha, it is that ignorance and misunderstanding. He was doing a lot of practices. He was reduced to skeleton with the, sorry to say, hot yoga master. He went to the hot yoga master. He initiated him. He said, you have to sleep on the floor. Same way, you have to do the headstand. I'm not criticizing. That is also my profession. But we have to understand what is right. And at the sixth year, he realized, that's a big story. I'm not, so he realized, he said, yeah, I got it. Another master initiated him. He took him. He sat under a bodhi tree and he understood that he was absorbed into mindfulness. He never returned from the state of mindfulness. And that demands that, am I a seeker? If I am a seeker, it will definitely work. So this week, you remember all these operating principles and live with that. Let us take the first outermost sheath that is known as physical body or also known as this uh, annamai kosha. Kosha means sheath, anna means food, maya means covered. This is the densest. Uh, am I using the right English, Brandy? Densest. It is the densest sheet. This is generated by the combination of the matter. No, 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 no. But I am a son of my parents. Okay. How? The semen and egg, they contain matter. <laughs> Tell me if it is not matter. It is born out of food. That is why it is known as Anna, food sheet, outermost level. And this outermost sheet, first understanding, every time it undergoes six changes. I just become aware of these six changes during the day. The moment I am in a waking state. Huh? So first change, what happens that egg and uh, let us take it, material cause. I have discussed about the efficient cause also. Uh, so material cause is just egg in the semen. They fertilize the formation of fetus in the mother's womb. You know, normally people say, oh, my birthday is, what? Uh, 13th, 14th April. Today is 14th April here. How can you say that? You were present in the womb of a mother. You were alive. What is your birthday? How do you know that? Matter of convenience. So we are not talking a matter of convenience. We are talking of absolute right? The first change, uh, it comes, formation of a fetus in the mother's womb. The second is arrival of the baby into the world. We arrived into the world as a baby. That is the second change of this food sheet. Third change, the body grows, being nourished by the food. We grow vertically. <laughs> we grow vertically. When you grow horizontally, that is your problem. <laughs> so that is caused by the second, third, and fourth scheme. That we will talk about. Uh, did you get it, you know? <laughs> Third, uh, the body matures into adolescence. You know, what we say in science is, uh, the word is used, catabolic, anabolic process. The anabolic processes is at peak during your childhood, adolescence, and after that we start going down. Catabolic means destruction processes. Uh, becoming is old, like me. So the body starts aging is the fourth one and the fifth one. Can you guess? Fifth one, sixth one is the death, the fragmentation. This is how the body works. This will continue to work in the same way millions of years ago. 
since the advent of the human frame in the food sheet and it is also working. Maximum, we, I can delay. I can delay the process by certain same thing again with the matter. So what we are referring to, understand that we are referring to the delusion part. I should become aware of that delusion while living day-to-day -day life. Oh, you look very handsome. Okay, this guy is referring to the outermost sheet. Outermost sheet. <laughs> oh. How bad you smell. No, no, I'm not smelling bad, you know. It is all about my outermost sheet. Oh, you have a good fragrance. No, it is all about food. I should remember this. I can give you one million examples. You know, these thoughts and the feelings surrounded on the physical body causes a lot of delusions. I am tall. Who is tall? First sheet. First sheet. I am short. Who is short? I am son of so-and-so. Who is? We are referring to the body. When I refer my name, I'm referring to the physical sheet, the first sheet, food sheet. What we should do with this physical body, because we all human beings have the highest faculty of intellect. Once we recognize, we should repair, maintain, care, still with an awareness that I'm not the body. The way I we do service of the cars, and you know, I got my AC service just last week. Doing service, repair and maintenance, that is all. Why? Because if I'm attached, I fall into delusion. We are doing a self-inquiry. Very clear. If you have any doubt, I like uh, one master saying, using this uh, phrase, and remember this. Anna mai kosha. Anna means food. Uh, mai means covering and sheet. Deluded. Maya also means delusion. The origin of this Anna mai kosha is food. Yes, I'm going to invoke one verse. Please uh, excuse me, don't get offended. But that is the fact in the truth. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> we take bath every day. Why don't you make the body pure, clean it one day, and it should remain clean? Is it possible? No. Why it is not possible? What should be the cause? Find out. We clean skin. I also took bath and looked myself into the mirror. Not only you. It's a different that you are smarter than me. I take bath every day, clean the skin, look beautiful every day. But the next day again, I the body becomes impure. No, no, don't say body is impure. You cannot break this attachment if you are attached to the beauty. But take care. Do everything. Put all the cosmetics. Okay, that will do. But internally, with that knowledge and awareness, you have to break that attachment. Illusion with the body. When we are coughing, a lot of cough comes out of the nose. Do you store into the refrigerator? At the expression of brandy. 
that is what this master taught Vairagya Shatakam. He was a king, became a monk, and he realized. I'm not going in other direction. As long as this fecal matter lives inside the body, how, what a beautiful body. And the moment it goes out, I don't want to stay there. Tell me if it is not a fact. Tell me if you do otherwise. That monk has gone to that extent to realize why we are talking of this so that I should remove that sense of attachment, sense of delusion with the body. We have nine holes. Tell me any holes gives you something that can be utilized, used. All the holes gives us the impurity. Now, this monk, you know, I'm not saying, you know, if you are offended, then uh, get offended with that monk. Not with me. I'm just passing on this now. Look at this. No, we are thinking like this in order to remove the attachment and the delusion. At the same time, you are keeping, taking care of this human frame, the food sheet, because only in this food sheet I can be awakened. I cannot be awakened in the tiger body. I cannot be awakened in the uh, monkey body. That is the importance at the same time that importance does not turn out into a Delusion. If it turns out into a delusion, then you're. No, he looks very smart. Stop this. Appreciate if one looks the smart. But don't get attached to the body. You should remain dispassionate with the body. When you remain dispassionate with the body in the meditation, which Buddha did with the last master. The name of the last master, uh, Alar Kala, who said, sit under a tree, close your eyes, look at the breath, you are not the body, and ultimately he, had, he went deeper. Now apply all the five operating principles. First operating principles, so I'm unchanging principle. And this Annamaya, food sheet, human body, physical body is constantly changing. Body is changing. It is born, become child, teenage, adult. Uh, now I'm 80 years old. When God will you will call me. So I'm referring to the body. And that stresses me. Body changes constantly. Still we feel we are the body. One scientist, I don't remember, uh, he said, this physical body, remember this, this physical body is food rearranged. Did you get it? This physical body is food rearranged. Whether you eat chicken or whether you eat raw food, whether you eat vegan, the food is rearranged. Huh? Reorganized. What else is this body? <laughs> Second principle. Under my food sheet is an object of experience. I am knower of an object, hence I cannot be the physical body. Food sheet. Body is always an object. I gave an example. Here is a donkey. 
I know donkey, but I'm not donkey. Same way. I know body, all the physiological, biochemical, you know, and those who have been frequenting their visits to the doctors, they know. It is all food arranged, chemicals arranged. Third, this food sheet is the product of karma. I have referred a little bit about the efficient cause. I will deal detail when this topic comes. Huh? This physical body is an effect. And what is an effect? I can never be. Do you see that? Fourth operating principle, I am conscious. This food sheet is not conscious. Uh, this is unconscious matter. Oh, I'm so beautiful, you know, you are criticizing me. No, I'm not criticizing you. I'm criticizing your food sheet. You are different from the body. You know, some people may feel, you know, that's why I'm... <laughs> So after the session, don't go back again in, the, in front of the mirror. How dare you say that? <laughs> then you are not a seeker. <laughs> Do that, but then you are not a seeker. We are conscious of the body. Body is inert. And what is inert cannot know itself, cannot know anything, anyone else. Hence, body is not me. Body is part, product, properties of a matter, rearranged, food rearranged, is this physical body. <clears throat> Apples and grapes are lying in your kitchen. They are rearranged. And that is what the physical body, even chicken, add anything. We are not going into those uh, topics, you know, that creates uh, fanaticism, you know, I'm a vegan or non-vegan or etc. No. Simple thing. Simple understanding. Otherwise, Buddha should have talked about this much before in the journey of meditation and mindfulness. So the death of this body is not the end of my existence because I'm the real self. I am the real self. Body is changing, I do not. Body is the product of the karma and the matter. I am not. I exist before. I exist during the presence of the physical body and I will continue to exist after the physical body. Are you clear, Ashok? Yes, okay. <laughs> Body is an object of experience, but I am the knower. Be very clear. Be very clear. I'm the knower. And I know I can understand there's a lot of confusion and that as we continue, body is matter, I'm conscious, body is made up of food, I'm not, I'm different from the body. I am not this physical body. I am not this food sheet. Even People say I'm the most handsome or beautiful person in this world. That reference has to do with the physical body. Appreciate, thank, be grateful, that's all. But internally you remember. You remember. You buy the most luxurious car, but you are not the car. You buy the biggest mansion, but you are not the mansion. So with that, live. This week, live with that I am not the body. Work again. Ask your mind to repeat these operating principles. I can bet you after the first day, you do it maybe a thousand times. Just become aware inside. It all demands awareness. It all demands an understanding. What will happen? your level of fatigue will drop. You'll be surprised.
you will never declare that you are worthy of suffering and sadness. If you are attached to the body, then you are worthy of suffering. People looks at your big face, you know, what happened to you? Everything is okay, but you are referring to the body. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh, what a beauty of this Eastern wisdom. So pay attention, operate on these, all the five principles. Uh, during the day, the moment you wake up, you are taking a shower, you are going to the restroom. You throw out all the fecal matters. As long as it is in the body. Oh, look at this, my body, how beautiful it is. <laughs> and the moment it is thrown out, you don't want to stay there. You keep a lot of fragrances to remove that smell. It proves that I'm not the physical body. <laughs> what a great you know, I am Girish, you know, look at this. You know, see the delusion? <laughs> that causes a lot of problems. So let us start our journey, close your eyes, and uh, 